Hi, my name is Jesus Suarez and I'm an applications engineer at Focos. Another common question that we get is why is my AnyBridge not connecting to my AnyGrid inverter? Um, and this applies to the pure sine wave hybrid inverter, line of inverters. Um, the first thing you would want to check is your internet connection. The number one cause for your AnyBridge to not connect is that either the AnyBridge device is too far away from the router um, or the internet signal that is emitting from your router is not, is not strong enough uh, for the AnyBridge device to detect. Um, make sure that the AnyBridge is connecting to a, a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless network. A 5G network will not work with AnyBridge. If, if the Wi-Fi connection is still not working, the next thing to check for is connecting it to a Ethernet cable, a hardwire connection. This could definitively rule out any sort of internet issues that you may be having with your AnyBridge device. If you do this and it's still not connecting, the next thing you want to look for is if you indeed did receive an invitation to the Focus Cloud Link uh, dashboard. And the way to do this is looking in your spam box, of course. If you do not see an invitation, the next thing you can do is go to cloud.focos.com and go to the Forgot Password link. You click on this link and you re-enter the email that you used to enroll through the, the Focus Link phone app. The Focus Link app is a free app that is down, downloadable on both Android and iOS and this will resend the inv invitation to your email. Another thing to check for, a common issue, is a user will try to connect uh, to the AnyBridge using the Bluetooth on their phone versus using the Bluetooth feature uh, through the phone app. Uh, that is to say that you can't pair to the AnyBridge or the inverter using the Bluetooth uh, settings on your phone that you would use to connect to a pair of headphones. You need to go through the, download the Focus Link app and then go through the app, use the search feature, find the AnyBridge through the, through the app, and the app uses the Bluetooth functionality on your phone to detect the AnyBridge. Doing it through your phone uh, will result in receiving uh, odd, odd errors and uh, it, would not, it will not allow you to pair the AnyBridge to your inverter. For all early adopters of the AnyGrid line of inverters, it's worth checking the firmware on the display. Uh, our, the AnyBridge is only compatible with firmwares of 6.18 and up. To verify what firmware you're using on your AnyGrid, from the home menu, press the down arrow until you see U2, followed by a four digit number in the format 00.00. .00. If the number that you find is lower than 06.18, then you must update the firmware on your AnyGrid inverter. Feel free to contact us and we can walk you through the steps on how to do this. If all else fails and none of these, none, none of these solutions resolve your issues, um, it's worth resetting the AnyBridge with a small item like a paperclip, usually works fine. You'll find a reset button on the back of the AnyBridge. Lightly press this button, gently once, and both lights, yellow and green light, will flash, turn off, and flash back on. This indicates that the AnyBridge has successfully reset it. Re-enroll using the Focos Link app on your phone and resend the invitation link back to the email that you had on record and re-attempt re the enrollment process.